Here we go, you know the drill. Cup of tea, yeah, and a Rick and Morty top that glows in the dark, I think. Either that, or I could just be a liar. And speaking of liars, Jamie Nyland has been back on. And by he's been on, I mean he's blocked me. And he actually blocked me before I posted my last video about him, so I don't think he's seen it, but I know he's seen it. Well, I at least know his girlfriend has seen it. Who is his girlfriend now? They didn't actually break up. It's almost as if I was right the entire time. Who would have thought that? one <laughs> but his girlfriend commented on one of my tiktoks she seemed pretty upset that i accused her boyfriend jamie of buying youtube plaques the youtube channel is yes laugh yes 1.2 million subscribers you're not a true nerd you aren't very good at research i mean this channel has got nothing to do with um, you or Jamie, so I don't know how I'd have found this. But then I thought, Sydney, maybe you're right. Maybe I should do some research into all of this. And I did. And boy, I am glad that you said do some research. Thank you so much, Sydney. Because, oh boy, I have done a lot of research. And it turns out, Jamie Nyland is worse than we thought. Before we start, yet again, I would like to thank Sydney Worgan for the inspiration behind this video. Thank you very much for telling me to do more research. I have. Thank you. I'm resorting back to a comment. She said the YouTube channel that Jamie has got the 1 million subscriber plaque for is for yes, laugh, yes. I feel like yes, laugh, yes is something that they say when they see somebody smirk at their content. I thought you were trying to lose weight. <laughs> Yes, laugh, yes! That makes sense, but no, it's a YouTube channel. And there we go, 1.2 million subs. It must be a buzzing channel, as I can... 600 views in three weeks on, on that one. It's not really worth bragging about, is it? You haven't, you haven't won the argument there. If I was you, Sydney, I'd have just said, Good one, Dylan. He did buy the plaques. Well in. Because you've introduced me to all of this now. Thank you yet again, Sydney. But with this channel, I'm just going to flat out say what everybody is thinking right now. Every single video looks like a scam. Scam. Scam! Scam! <laughs> it looks so bad! So I thought I'd save all of you the pain and torture of going to watch 10 minute after 15 minute after 10 minute on how to make hundreds of pounds and dollars on YouTube. We've not seen anybody do stuff like this before. One hundred dollars a day. I don't even want to say dollars or pounds. One hundred money per day. Let's see what we get. Look at that, there's, it's, look, look at how many, there is, <laughs> look, come on. <laughs> but Jamie Nylands must be special, they've got to be, surely. You'll be absolutely stunned to find this out, they're, they're not. <laughs> And I was going to give up and just do a video on laughing at these ridiculous scam videos. Let's be honest, if you could earn £200 a day, what, that, that's a 50 grand a year. That was good maths. And I almost dropped my phone in a cup of tea. It's about 50 grand a year, so like, why wouldn't everybody do this? Why wouldn't Jamie just do it a hundred times? He could earn so much money. Well, I'd done some more research, didn't I? I delved a little bit deeper, like his girlfriend wanted me to. I delved in, and it turns out that you... Wait, I need to break... Wait, brace yourself for this. So Jamie Nyland, you know, this guy... <laughs> Sydney Worgen, my girlfriend's a gold digger. I wouldn't wear that. What? You look awful. Go change. Jamie. You look awful. Sydney's a prank. The man's a genius, that much of a genius that you can actually buy part of his knowledge for £140. <laughs> about this make money online post ad thing he's got going on is this is the exact same photo i used in my last video just with a bunch of hundred dollar bills edited into his hand <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I did me research. Anyway, the funny thing is, on this website where you can buy some of his knowledge for £140, they spell catalogue wrong. Catalogue? I mean, that's how the Americans spell it, I think, but you're not American, so you spell catalogue wrong. And another really funny feature about this website where you can only buy one thing. You can only order one thing unless it's the £140 Jamie Nyland knowledge course. Become the complete human today. I don't know. But on this website, there's a search bar. There's one thing on the entire site. 
Why is there a search bar? So I put in the search bar, anything good? Your search for anything good did not yield any results. I am not surprised by that. But this is where it gets a little bit dodgy. So I already think it's dodgy to sell YouTube knowledge for £140 when I don't think you've really earned the right to do that. I'm sorry, I, I don't. But as I was scrolling through this website, I come across a bunch of red writing. That's never good. A bunch of red writing. By purchasing this course, you agree that you will waive your rights for a refund once you download the content. So so that basically means if you were to spend £140 on this, you downloaded it and thought, this is all complete nonsense. Why did I spend £140 for this man's knowledge? I don't know. Anyway, let me get a refund. Oh, I can't. No matter what. I can't get a refund. That's a bit shady. That? But then I thought, Jamie, why are you giving away all your secrets? Well, let's just listen to what he has to say. So why am I actually telling you this information and why would I share this information? Well, here's the thing which a lot of people don't actually say, which I'm going to say because I like to keep it 100% real on this channel. He likes to keep it 100% real on his... <sighs> like all of his content is him just lying. Why would we believe? I'm 100% real and honest. Literally nobody has ever said that about Jamie Nyland, have they? No one. But I know what you're probably all thinking. What are his big secrets? What is the big secret? How does he earn this much? Does he make really funny, original content that he thinks through and maybe writes and leaves it down to good editing, you know, really good content? No, he literally steals content or clips it up a bit smaller so it doesn't get copyright claimed. Puts them together, uploads them, you get the ad revenue. That's what he does. You don't believe me? Listen yourself. Nine, ten, and then what you're going to find is going to switch. And that is because it is using snippets of content, okay? It's not enough time to be detected. It's not enough time to get copyright striked, okay? £140. But this is his channel now. He hasn't got 1.2 million subscribers on, on this. It's almost like he needs to use other people's content to grow higher on YouTube. But we won't get into all that. This is his channel and he posted perhaps one of the most confusing videos of all time. My brother lost his eyesight and I've seen people talking about this on TikTok and it's just really confusing. Uh, let's have a watch. He had to have his eye filled with a silicon substance and a rubber band around his left eye to make it stay in shape because it was getting disorientated. And that's why today his eye still goes left. It, he, his eye literally is wonky. His eye is red. It's not a joking matter. This isn't a symphony video, guys, okay? What, what, what am I watching then? <laughs> Where's this come from? I was shot in the eye with a paintball gun when I was 14 years old. You can see here, my eye is still red and misshapen even now. I've actually been getting bullied quite a lot on top at the moment and people are also saying I'm just faking the whole thing. After you made this video, there was countless of people who started to mock the video, guys. People started mocking this. Literally, they started covering their own lies saying, oh my god, this is so fake. Like, grow up. I'm done. I'm done with this. Why are they so, like, how can we? Probably done. Done with that. This entire family is just completely ridiculous, okay? Judging from a few other posts, it does look like his brother, when he was younger, was shot in the eye with a paintball gun, I think it was, which is traumatic and horrifying and a, just an awful thing to happen. Why it just comes across as a bit dishonest and a bit disingenuous is you've just completely randomly brought this up and you've chose to bring up this really random fact topic about your brother at just at a time where you're getting a lot of backlash from other creators, including myself. It's like you've been waiting and once you get a little bit of hate it's like oh look a real, real honest thing, thing. Everybody, everybody a little bit of honesty, honesty at last, at last an honesty. Honesty. and it's just a very sad situation his brother done a video saying come back in 24 hours and i'll tell you about what happened covering his eye come back in 24 hours to find out my traumatic childhood experience and yet you're wondering you are bewildered and baffled to why you think that people would think that was fake it's like this entire family and this entire setup has just never heard the boy who cried wolf. Their entire following is based off lies and lies and even more lies. Even when he done an honest video saying, this is genuine guys, this isn't a prank. Yeah, this isn't a, a, a prank, we are genuinely- It turns out to be a lie. So how is everybody meant to watch this video and go, oh, completely legit. When your entire following is based off lies, how can you not see that? Either you can see that and you're a complete idiot, or you can see it and you're just continuing to do all this for views, which I wouldn't doubt, 
because you will do anything for views, including clipping up parts of The Ellen Show. I'm gonna stop talking about these now because I'm bored and I just don't think they're genuine or nice people, so I'm gonna stop. But what I won't stop doing is exposing clowns. Absolutely not, I'm not stopping that. So I'll say it again, don't go on Jamie's videos. I can't, I'm blocked. Don't go on Jamie's and Sydney's videos and give them hating. You're horrible, you're this. Don't, don't do that, guys. That's not what I'm about. I'm not about negativity, don't do that. But by all means, go onto their videos and question how they could charge £140 for their knowledge. And throw a bunch of clown emojis on there as well. You bunch of nerds have got me. You've done me so proud in the past and I genuinely love you all, you bunch of nerds. Thank you for watching this. Remember to subscribe. Become a nerd today. I've said nerds too many times now. It doesn't sound like an actual word. Put the little bell emoji. The, what's it? The subscriber button. So you get a notification. <laughs> Put the notifications on because I don't actually post too much. So when I do post, you know there's gonna be two. So hit that subscribe button, hit like, and yeah, I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.